Oh, no, but Fester and, well, sorry, Sotos and crew realize that they need to be flying to Tiki Hill to set up. They know that they're giving up the hill, and they're pushing perfectly to put themselves in a good position to finish this with this uh, Tiki grab. Oh, they called it, too. Here's the next hill. Oh, a team kill by Soto. He's a little too in the moment right there. That was a sheer team kill. Serious mistake right there by Sotos, and he's going to get taken out right after that. And that well, team might have lost in the game. Might have caused them the hill and the game, to be honest. Grills would have been through a live. It would have been a two versus two shotgun fight instead of a one versus three. So close to turning it around right there, but that, that accidental team kill, no situational awareness, just possibly cost him the game. I, I am not sure if I agree with this, this decision by No Sleep right now. They are fighting at one shot. When in reality, all you have to do, Manual, is run away and to Tiki to control the rest of this hill. They decided to fight on mid bridge, and because of that, it is now going to be a three versus three. Actually, Lava picks up a kill. They are going to get a break on the hill. Rustling going in. Will he pick up the double? No, he doesn't. He gets the revive, and he's bleeding out Soto for that 15 second respawn. He will be out of the game now for the rest of that ring time, pretty much. No, 10 seconds to do something. They need to get a break. If they do not get a break, then uh, uh, No Sleep will win off of this hill. So one last push. All four members of Rustling is alive. One last push for this hill to try and come back. See if they can do a manual. Soto's back for revenge. Will he do it? It's the last 10 seconds, as I said. He's taken, he's taken down. All three of them are taken down. Soto gets the break, actually, but not long enough. Here. Okay. They're gonna get a quick cap, and that is gonna be game. We are going into game four. Sorry, game four, two to one right now in favor of no, of Rustlock. Back to execution. That, that team kill right there. That, that cost them the game. They could have had it. They could have ended it. Without a doubt, huge, huge mistake by Soto blindfang around that wall. You could tell he actually thought that Kirill's was a cog. It wasn't a mistake. I'm mean, sorry, it was a mistake, but he legitimately thought that Curls was a cog. I uh, got a little bit scared as Curls up eight. He thought a, a number of cog would be up eight. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of curious of the words that might have been exchanged after that, uh, <laughs> after yeah, that mishap. I can imagine. <laughs> Especially between two very dominant personalities in Curls and Soto. Too funny, but it is back to execution. You actually talk a little bit about execution and how well this Rustling squad has been playing. Do you think No Sleep even has a chance? Rustling has been definitely locking it down on execution. I assume this is this is gonna be Clock Tower, right? Um, clock old, tower old Town or Clock Tower? Old. If it's Clock Tower, Rustling's got it hands down. They've been dominating on Clock Tower from what I've seen. It is Old it is Town. Old town. Very old well. Town. We'll see. So we're gonna see expect some digger strats. It's up in the air, I can't make a call, but so far Rustling seems to be the dominant execution team. But we can expect a little bit of a change up. Uh, this uh, no sleep squad likes to run a digger, a digger strat in Old Town. I sent Vester a message saying no frag strats on uh, checkout, giving him a hard time because he's playing him <laughs> on. And he actually listened. They did, they did not run one frag strat on, uh, they ran one of them actually on checkout. I'm going to say no digger strats to <laughs> see if it works. <laughs> I mean, it's just a given. Anytime one team runs a digger strat, the way Gears 3 maps are designed, one team runs a digger strat, one team runs a sniper strat, it's guaranteed to be a stalemate because there's no objective that you're playing for anymore. And if, if neither team grabs those frags, it's it's 100% stalemate right there if both teams grab an opposite power weapon. Oh, but I don't know. If Lava can get his hands on sniper rifle, as we saw just a couple of games ago, this might go in favor of no sleep, but Lava can get his hand on those precision weapons. and he obviously has the hot, the hot hand with that weapon. Definitely. Right I'm sh I will say, though, playing playing players like uh, Russ Lung, the people on the squad, and playing against that uh, little bit less experienced team uh, from Mexico is a little bit different. You know, you're not going to have people just, just basically pistoling you while a sniper's looking at you for easy headshots. So sniper might, might not be as effective. For, uh, right, right. I'm sure he's... Oh, they're running Digger, actually, it looks like. 
Both teams are sending two. Both teams are running a digger. And one to Snipes and one to Frags. On Lava, he gets it down. Up and down. Baird picks him up. He's getting crossed from Frags. He's getting pushed. What will he do? And he gets down by Yogurt. Snubs trying to save it. Can he save it? Can he save it? Two versus one. Not happening. Oh, man. Ugly play right there from Snubs. He needed to get in there and make a play and hit some shots, and he missed a couple of shots. Uh, uh, and also, Lava and Snubs actually could have drawn first blood. They downed the initial Marcus, but when they were reviving, Lava focused Baird and Snubs focused Marcus. They focused two different players right there, and because of that, they were both able to get out about half health, whereas it would have been a second down if they would have focused the same player. So lack of chemistry there definitely does cause Yes, them. it does, and it's boom shot round. It's definitely one of the most important weapons on this map right here. Dispensa trying to lock it down at mid so they don't get crossed. But it's two versus one. Will he be able to pick up a quick kill on manual? He misses two shots and he's down. Three versus two. No team has control of boom shot yet. Manual actually lit up Vester. I think he might have downed Vester right there. Soto is able to get back up. Soto. Wow, two versus Duking two. Duking it division. out. They have the advantage though, they're on Boom Shot side. Look at this Lancer cross right now. Beautiful communication from Soto's and Yogurt. Focusing that high top mid. Spotted! Soto's gonna go for the grab real quick. Will he get it unscathed? Yes, he will. They just let him have it. Look what we have here. That is very unfortunate. That round easily should have been won by no sleep. Fester was alive, and, and Manuel actually lit up Fester and downed his own teammate. I and a quick kill by Soto, as expected with that boom shot. It's devastating splash damage. Oh yeah, that boom is just crazy powerful in Gears of War 3. Whoever gets their hands on that weapon is guaranteed two, if not three, easy kills. What do you want to... Just a quick update, uh, the match I am doing between Washed and also Logix. Uh, it was a 3-3 situation at Clock Tower, and it came down to Logix taking the first map. So we are on second. Well, All right, some magic coming down to Frags. He's pushing Manuel by himself. He's pretty hurt. He's pretty hurt. Both players are four-pointed. He's pushing way too aggressively against an assault rifle. He's got the Nasher out. He's closing in. He gets a quick kill right there for grenade control. He's all by himself, though. Not good. What can he do to the clutches? Get out of the middle, that's one thing. Not good at all. He is stuck in a corner with the and pistols. There's literally, literally nothing you can do, unfortunately, in that situation. As Spencer does get taken out. There's now one, two. But good job. You know, the, the, the fight is really over at Sniper. We saw a three snipe from both teams. And we saw Lava and crew come out on top, despite the fact that they were on bad side. They were on bottom side being close. Come on, to while we're young. Some good kills from Lava. Uh, really helped. Oh, uh, definitely. That's boom round again. Yogurt, Sotos, and Kirill's going boom shot with ink grenade. Kirill's is down by Lava. Lava's got a meat shield, some mobile cover right there. Yogurt picked up the boom shot, though. Nobody attacked him. But Yogurt was down. I, I stand corrected. Soto with that 1v gets taken out. Yeah, Ooh, this is intense. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. They're duking it out round for round. Russell only needs to win one more map. I have a special announcement. Let me know when you have time. This is very important. Gotcha, my man. We'll be finishing up. It's 2-2 two -two right now in Old Town. We'll finish up. Here we fall in this round. You guys also heard... Uh, let's hop over to Lava with the front spawn. Made some good plays on Sniper. Uh, let's run on this side. Let's see. We're going to run a 3 up for Digger shot. We're running a digger shot. I take that back. Let's stand over to Lava, though. He is at the need. Duking it over those grenades right now. One down for Rustlong. The lava's gonna capitalize on that. Grab frag grenades. Kirill's and Soto's glory. Almost set up for a double kill right there, but they managed to escape with a quick revive. No sleep or retreating. They've lost position. They still have one more frag grenade to try to rebuttal their position. The lava T1 trying to find a good spot not to get shot. Yogurt picks up sniper rifle. Digger is free to grab. Very surprised that Snubs did not pick up Digger. So now we're going to see a situation where every power weapon is in the hands of the COG team. Besides frag grenades, which is pretty crucial as well. 
Uh, Dispenser. Dispenser has picked up frag grenades. Enemy marked! Okay, good call. The dispenser was fragged. I have a feeling finger. Snubs is gonna make a quick play. He seems very impatient. He's got an itch. Making the smart play, checking every single corner, but Yogurt is not there. Yogurt is actually in the middle of the map with the snipe, it's being very sneaky right now, trying to get some angles. We're gonna go on Yogurt since he has a long shot. All we can hear is the sound of the chickens clucking. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. As there's a little bit of a stalemate. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Maker, Maker of chicken, chicken dinner. dinner. They call me. I so badly want Yogurt to kick a chicken right now, but he is not going to kick a chicken. He wants to. He wants to Yogurt is standing by to break the tension by kicking a chicken. We, we know it. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking at that chicken. He wants to shoot it. Will he do it, though? Oh, he's looking at he it. Wants, he wants that chicken, but it is a hard shot to hit. He was looking at it. Will his precision and skill let him make this <laughs> shot in the chicken? We'll see. It, it is a hard shot to hit. It is a very hard shot to hit. They're that chicken is crucial movement. to match victory. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Frag grenades are up. <laughs> chicken positioned perfectly in between both teams. Whoever can kill the chicken first, I think we'll have the upper hand. I agree. Right. Completely agree. The chicken is trying to grab frag grenades, but Glory stops him. <laughs> frag grenades are being thrown at Glory. He's going to be taken out. Will Yogurt be able to recover those frags though? Rock and roll! No, yeah, it looks like he's not going to pick him up. I'm not sure if, if uh, Soto's dropped him before he died. Yeah, Soto's had his, his Nash route, I believe, before he died. So frag grenades are not going to be able to be picked up. Four versus three right now. Good job right there by Lava following up with the down to pick up that kill. And also storing those grenades as well uh, for later. Absolutely. Around. He didn't waste oh. them. He knew his opportunity would come, and it came, and he threw them. And explosions happened. Explosions literally. Yogurt should really think about taking out that chicken. Uh, it's still watching him. Yeah, he's making, a, he's making a big mistake right now. Chicken's like baiting him. Look at that. The chicken's like Pretty sure the chicken grabbed those frags before he can grab them. <laughs> Imagine the chicken's like an NPC, <laughs> like a non playable character that can walk around. Yogurt unable to connect. Oh my goodness, it what? looked like it, but I think he shot the wall. Another sniper rifle's in play. Lava has it. Uh oh. Hey. Important to note, it is a four versus three right now. I don't like the lack of aggression from uh, no sleep right now. They should be playing to win this round, not playing to stalemate. And with only 50 seconds left, it's very easy for uh, uh, Russell to draw it out. It's yes, it is. They definitely should be trying to take advantage of this number, numbers advantage, because it may not come again. It's two two. They need this round to get closer to that win. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Yogurt just missed a crucial shot. Oh, the team kill. Mangle. And then a team kill from Dispensa. Oh no, but he's gonna pick up a kill right after that. Three versus two situation. Dispensa has two diggers left. He did pick up some extra ammo, which gave him six. Hey, uh, they left six. Lava down. He taps A. Who is that? Krills is unaware. May Lava might pick up a kill. He doesn't pick up any kills yet, and he's taken out. Dispensa. Oh wow. Good to Very unfortunate. Lava put some great shots. He almost had that. He could have had a potential double, but he did choose to use a long shot and be a showboater <laughs> at that moment. I want to say, I'm not sure why Manuel is not playing to win this round. Buster clearly was calling, hey, I'm stalemating, you get the win. And Manuel decided not to push for some reason uh, to make it even an attempt to win the round. But poor Lava there had Krill's full bad after hitting the snipe shot, but then missed a couple crucial shotgun shots that could have won the round. Instead, we're going to see another 2-2 two -two, uh, going, going into Going into the boom round. Bleh, boom, bleh, 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 bleh. boom round. We're watching Lava T1. He's hard charging into the front. Kirill's put some shots into him. He's going to loop around the corner. Possibly get some shotgun kills. We'll see. Yogurt is full red. Did Yogurt go down? Yes, Yogurt did go down in the middle. Dispensa does have instant. And, and he takes out the boom carrier. But he goes down as well. 
two members in the middle down right now, and whoever is playing mid for the Locust team is not able to capitalize on that. Lava just capitalized on.